this week's haul. I don't think uh, any of you guys haven't seen what I picked up this week because as everyone knows the East Coast is always months behind the West Coast but uh, I was able to pick up a 33 Ford Low Boy number one of five in this Halloween series. This is actually my favorite of all number five. Nice card art. Number one of five. Next, we got the 71 Maverick Grabber. These aren't bad. I don't know, I just had to have them. Completionist, if you will. Two of five. Next, we got the 2014 Corvette Stingray. It's a, it, they're okay. I don't, I'm not a big fan of them, but I do like the card art. And I mainly picked up the number one, the low boy, for a, a custom. Next in the series is the King Kuda. This and the Maverick Grabber are both done in the matte black. Like I said, nothing you guys haven't seen before. Number four or five. Funny thing is, when I walked in the Target, the guy was actually uh, putting these up on the shelf, and uh, <laughs> he knows me just because I see him all the time when I'm in there, and <laughs> he handed me a set as he was taking them out of the box. This is the 2016 Camaro SS. Number five of five in the series. They had a ton of them. Next stop was uh, at a Walmart. I was able to pick up this 2008 Ford F350 Super Duty out of the Just Truck series. Um, actually, one of my trucks is a 2008 Ford. It's an F250, not a 350, but anybody that knows trucks, the uh, 250 and the 350 both sit on the same frame, so. This is identical to my truck. One of my trucks, I should say. Actually, one of my favorite trucks. <laughs> Mr. Hewitt's dropped me down this rabbit hole. These are sweet, though. I like these castings. It's very rare that we see them, but uh, I think my Walmart has changed a bit. As everyone else's has, I guess. Um, let's see what else we got here. Another target I was able to pick up this 1996 Ford Bronco Eddie Bauer edition with a backpacker. The Hobby Shop Series 10, green light. This is actually very nice. I know everybody's already seen this, but like I said, the East Coast, we're way behind. We don't get things like the guys on the West Coast. They're usually months ahead of us, for whatever reason. Right behind this, <clears throat> on the pegs, I was really surprised, was a green machine. 
1986 Chevy M108, 1008, law enforcement. Not bad, like I said, I don't normally collect green machines or even hunt them down. Or, I figured I can't leave that on the shelf. I do like green lights, chase pieces, and I do like M2s, but everybody knows how I feel about the Hot Wheels ones. I never understand the hype. Yeah, this was another target. I was able to pick up this custom 67 Pontiac Firebird with the IDs. Not bad. It's actually just like the Boulevard number 27. Actually, it's identical to it. I also picked up another one of the Porsche 911 GT3s. I was able to pick up one before. Pick this one up for the wheels. I'm going to tear this one apart and use the wheels for a, a custom that I'll be working on. Now the Forza Horizon 4. It's actually a pretty nice casting. Maybe I'll hold on to it. Maybe somebody's looking for it. I don't know. Oh. Next, I got the uh, Volkswagen T1 drag bus out of the Marvel Captain America. They had all five of these. I didn't pick up all of them. I just grabbed three of them. I just grabbed uh, the three I thought would never be around again. <laughs> this being one of them. This was the only one they had left, so I grabbed I grabbed it. And that's funny, another collector um, came in right behind me and asked me if he could have it. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. And then I was able to, the only reason I got these actually is mostly for wheel donors, the Combat Medic, number three of five in this series, the Marvel Falcon. I think I'm going to use these wheels for another custom. picked up uh, number five of five. I actually I don't know if I'm gonna use these wheels or not. I'm really today's a very indecisive day for me. The Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. Uh, I'm not a Marvel fan. I don't know much about it. My son, one of my sons, is a big, huge fan, and uh, maybe he'll want them. I haven't even shown them to him yet, so. Maybe I'll just give them to him. I'll put them on the wall. Okay, the next two guys uh, I got from um, a friend of mine, a whole lot of Zep. First one is the uh, American Motorcycles, United States Postal Service, the LLV. This is a green light. Exclusive hobby, 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 hobby. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. But uh, I had made a comment on Rick's video. Uh, hold on, is that about? He knows we're both motorcycle guys. He rides, I ride, and uh, I had just never seen it before. And, Next thing you know, he shipped it to me. I greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate our friendship. Also, I had made comment 
on one of his videos about this 1973 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, the blacked out version. This is a Johnny Lightning Street Freaks uh, limited edition, one of 3,700. This thing is just wicked. Unbelievable. When he uh, showcased this, I was like, oh my god, I need to have that. I had asked him where he got it, and a few days later, it showed up on my door. My doorstep, so. You guys need to really do yourselves a favor and go on over and check out a whole lot of Zep. He and I have become great friends. Um, one of these days, he and I will be able to get together and ride uh, together if neither one of us sells our motorcycle. <laughs> we'll see. But, uh, that's all I got for you guys this week. Um, probably going to go out, do a little peg hunting either tonight or tomorrow morning again, so maybe I'll be putting on another video for you guys. Peace out, Clown Nation.